Brandon and Nikki. Hi guys. Full disclosure, Nikki's the one that sold us our original Puma, so we like Nikki a lot. I think. Yeah, we do. I wanted Nikki, I fell in love with this Cougar, what is it Nikki? A 20... 29 RKS. RKS, Rear Kitchen Slide. Mm -hmm. Me. Very good. Fell in love with it, and we're gonna walk around. I'm gonna ask questions. I'm gonna pretend like I'm buying it today, and Nikki's gonna answer it. Okay. So go. Sounds good. All right. So I always tell people to check out the inside of the camper first, because if you don't like the floor plan inside, it doesn't matter what the outside has. So go well, ahead. Nice and on it. first. Thank you. Okay. So. You know me automatically. Yep. I love the fireplace. fireplace. I love the big TV. Yep. And I absolutely love that no matter where you sit in this unit, you can see the TV. Exactly. I I know in some of the video I did earlier, I know you can pull it out and like twist it and stuff. Yep. But the last thing I want is to be sitting there doing this while you're trying to watch. So tell me more about it. Okay, so this unit is actually a triple slide. Um, so you have the two slides here in the main living area. Um, and then one in the bedroom, which is nice. Mm -hmm. This is a half ton towable fifth wheel. So really? for those people that want a fifth wheel but don't quite have the truck to pull a big mm -hmm. fifth wheel, this is a great opportunity for them. So this one actually weighs about 8,600 pounds, so it's not a whole lot heavier. Uh -huh. um, but like you said, you do put the weight um, up into the bed of the truck instead of on the bumper, so that's really cool. Now this is something that I know Sarah really likes, um, is the rear kitchen mm -hmm. um, with a lot of countertop space. So this floor plan um, is great for that. You still have plenty of storage in the kitchen. Um, you've got the uh, cover that folds down over top of your stove, so you have additional space here. One of my favorite features is what you're just getting ready to look at right there. Stainless steel, undermount, um, double sink. And I love that they've gone to the square sink yeah, because I really it's like deeper. It. Yep. You can actually wash dishes in that and not have to worry about it. It's nice. It feels hygienic. It, it does. Residential faucet, so this pulls out. So when you start acting honorary, she can spray, spray me from yeah. the other side. Yeah, of the I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't do that. <laughs> uh, same, same microwave, microwave. as us. Yep. Same stove, I think, too. Do we have a three burner in ours? You can speak. Do we have yes. a three burner? Yeah. So the three burner cooktop stove here, and then again, this is the nice backsplash that you can fold mm -hmm. up. Does have the oven, um, and then you do just have a lot of countertop space, a lot of storage space in the kitchen, as well. It's electric refrigerator, mm -hmm. so it's just like the one you guys have um, currently. And Which then, does a great job. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot of success with these, and then you do have like pantry storage space here, as well. What about buffet option, or is it this? Um, you know, talk, like uh, what is it? See, I'm not using right term. The bench seating stuff. Can you get these? So booth the dinette. You can. Booth dinette. Yes, you can. Um, we typically bring this particular floor plan in with the table and chairs mm -hmm. because usually it's just two people. They want that table and chair option instead of the booth. Um, I I'm glad you mentioned this because this is really cool on this um, table as well. So. You know, there's a lot of folks that, you know, sit at the table and play cards or whatever, or if it's just the two of you and you want some extra space on one side, this tabletop actually will move back and forth. So there's a little hinge underneath the table right here. Uh huh. You fold it down, and then that allows your tabletop to slide back and forth. So you're saying after I eat a really big meal, and you I need can that push extra it away. Space, you push it away. Right, space. exactly. It's a good idea. I like that. We used ours, I, I think. This last weekend when it was so cold in Indiana Beach, you guys saw, we use this with our friends when they come over and play cards. Sure. I love it. I'm glad we didn't get the, what'd you call it? Booth Dinette. Dinette. Booth Dinette. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm yeah. glad. I'm exactly. glad we didn't do that. What about color options? Remember um, Sarah was so picky about color options. Right. Um, this Cougar actually will come in two colors. Uh, this color is twig. Um, so you have the darker furniture and then you have like the lighter accents. Um, in your window treatments. And then the other color that's available is cashmere, which is a um, lighter color furniture. And honestly, I like both colors, but if I had my preference, it would be the cashmere, just because it lightens it up in here a little bit more. Right, right. So it's a great contrast between- Like, is that too dark for you, Sarah? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, so it's a great contrast between the floor yep. um, and the cabinet color countertop it just really flows together so it's a really nice choice as well 
Okay, so let's go back. You show me the rest, ladies, sure. first. Sure. Uh, full LED lighting throughout in the camper, which is another really nice feature because it just makes it a lot brighter in here as well. I like the, I was telling her, I like the fifth wheels have that, what do I want to call it, rounded shape to them. Right. So you get the really tall ceiling. Yes, exactly. So yep. it just feels more spacious and more homey. Right. So at the top here, um, this is actually a motion detector light. It apparently is turned off at the moment. So mm -hmm. it's nice for um, evening times when you open the door, that light will come on and, and then you don't have to worry about hurrying to get oh, your light great. switches yeah. on as well. All of your controls are in one position here. Um, so that controls water heater, slide outs, awning, lighting, everything is all right here. Um, also comes with a Cougar remote. So this remote is really cool too because it'll work from about 25 feet away from your camper. We'll run your slide outs, it will run your awning, it will run your lighting. So if you're at a campground and there's a tree outside, mm -hmm. you can take your remote out with you, use the push the button to run your slide out out so you're not yelling at somebody saying, oh, that's hey, great. how close am I to that tree? Yeah, because so. usually I tell Sarah to scream at me when I'm doing it or bang yep. on the side. I also like you could do the awning out there. It's just sit out there and the exactly. sun comes out and you just Yep, push the comes up. Um, it's great too for like if you run to town to get groceries or something and you come back and it's raining, you can use that from your truck to run your awning out, turn on your lights, so when you come up here, you just have to unlock the door and come in. Technology people. So bathroom is here. Mm -hmm. What I like about this is they put this door on a hinge. So you see it hinges at the top and the bottom. Uh-huh, uh -huh. So uh -huh. what they can do is actually make you have a bigger bathroom Oh, um, yeah. The bigger shower. Um, it kind of cuts down a little bit on the space in your hallway, but nobody really hangs out in the hallway, and they'd rather have the space in the bathroom. So I love that feature. Um, the bathroom does have that huge shower with the seat. I know the See? seat is one of the things that you guys See? really liked about it. That's my favorite thing about Nikki is she listens. I do love the seat when I'm in there just relaxing after camping all day. After camping it's comfortable. All day. Yeah. Nice medicine big cabinet. medicine yep. cabinet. You've got a cabinet underneath your sink as well. And then on the back side of that shower, there's also storage for linens and, you know, miscellaneous things that you take camping. This one has a lot of similar feels as our Puma does. And then in here in the bedroom, um, the third slide we talked about is this wardrobe slide here. So a lot of space in there. Especially if you're going to go on vacations. Like, I know you guys went to Alabama. Uh-huh. Um, so, that would be great to be able to take all of your stuff with you. I definitely like, I think the one thing I, well, there's multiple things. But one of the things I'll want in the next one is that little table space next to the sure. sides of the bed to put your phone yeah. at night. Have a little glass of water or something there. It's great because you've got plug-ins on both sides. I mean, a lot of our campers, um, you know, have CPAP machines. That's one of the things we hear about. Yep. They need a place to set it. They need a place to plug it in and this works out perfect for them. I really like this. Okay, so show me around the outside, Nikki. What's sure, really cool about this is they do this fiberglass cap on these campers, so uh -huh. it wraps around the side, wraps around at the top, so it um, has less area for the potential for uh, water penetration if proper maintenance isn't done, which right. is, is, a, it is a thing that needs to be addressed, you know. Do your proper maintenance, people. Exactly. LED? LED lights on the front. And I love the new logo that they put on there, the Cougar Half Ton. Really cool feature on these too, and we see these on a lot of um, fifth wheels, is this reflective mirror area here. This is so you can see when patent you pending. Up. Exactly. So you have LED light here. Uh -huh. This is called Hitch Vision. Yep. Um, so you can use the rear view mirror in your truck and look in this and see the hitch in your truck. So when you're backing up to hook up, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. They say these are easy to hook up to though. They are. Yeah, they're not bad at all. Um, and then these are also solar prepped as well. So mm -hmm. that's what this is. Um, it's a hookup for like the um, battery or the um, suitcase packs. Mm -hmm. um, so you can hook that up. That's great for just charging up your battery if you're boondocking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to run your whole camper. It's not going to run your air conditioning, things like that. Right. But if you need a quick charge on, on your battery and it's sunny, great place for that. Um, so you've got docking lights, which are your lights on the front. Um, these are some other docking lights um, here too and then here's your extend and retract for um, your uh, legs and then this one is your landing gear so the front two jacks are power as well. <laughs> landing gear. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's an interesting term. Yeah. 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 
Um, and then um, LP tanks are here in this side. So you've got two 30 pound tanks. Um, these are the size that you do need to have filled, mm -hmm. but 30 pound LP tanks are gonna last you quite a while. Mm -hmm. So no worries with that. We didn't run out of propane this, I think we ran out in one tank, but we're on the other tank. So it lasted right. the entire summer. Exactly. And you guys took a lot of trips with it yeah. too, around yeah. here and, and everything too. So um, slam latch baggage doors, which is amazing. And we'll see actually on the other side, you can actually see a little bit better into the storage. Uh -huh. um, but I like this because they're magnetic door holds. Oh, I like so that. So you don't have to worry about holding it up while you're trying to load yep. your stuff in, but then you can also just let go of the door and it will. It will oh, that's close. awesome. Yep. I will say that w that's one thing, like when I'm bringing the power cord or whatever over in the Puma and I fold it up, we have the little clips. Yep. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because you're trying to hold it up and then flip the clip. So that's that's a cool feature. Yeah. <laughs> Water heater. Water heater. Um, and then your sewer hookup is here as well, and it's marked black tank and gray tank. Um, and actually, what it is, um, your hookup is just right to the front of that. Yeah. But up underneath of here, you have to reach up underneath of here. Uh huh. That's where your controls oh, I see them. are, and okay. they put them up under here to help protect them. Yep. So they don't get broke off. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, this model does have the heated enclosed underbelly. Like ours? Yep, so definitely um, a plus to having that as well. I, when you first showed me this, I was like, ugh, I don't like that, but that's not bad. I mean, it's, there's two knobs, you know which one's which, you just pull it and right. you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is really cool too. This is your convenience center. Um, so you know on the Puma how you have the hookup on uh -huh. the outside for your water? Yep. They do everything in here. So you have city water connection here, um, and then you have um, black tank flush also, which I know you guys have. Uh, do you have that on the? No, pool? we don't have a black tank flush. You will need the black tank. You will love the black tank flush. I we were just talking about that the other day. I mean, full disclosure, I'll tell. There's no number twos allowed in my camper. No number twos. That's what the bathhouses are for at the right. campground. But it would still be nice to flush it. What we are doing currently is I lift up the the uh, toilet seat and I bring the uh, hose out from outside and I flush it that right, way. Right, exactly. Which it gets done, but... Right, so black tank flush eliminates the need to have to take that uh -huh. hose inside. You just hook it up to here and inside, uh, right inside of that, has spray nozzles that go in all different directions to rinse down that black tank. Um, so, you know, even, even RV toilet paper, you know, it's... It's on the to sensors. the side, yep. exactly, makes makes you not have a good reading. Mm -hmm. um, so that helps to clear that out. Um, cable hookup is out here. Very nice. And you also have um, a water outside shower hookup out here as well. Oh, that's cool. So Just hot fast and cold. connect. Yep, quick connect, um, hot and cold access. And then, so this is your switch to fill. So like if you're going to fill your tank, yep. you flip it up yep. to fill your freshwater tank. If you're going to use um, city water like at a campground, just flip it back down, you pick know, it up for that. You're pretty sharp and you remember all this. And I was like, God, how does she remember all this? I wouldn't have to. Exactly. Just look right there. Mm -hmm. So you actually do have sat satellite and cable hookup. Like this? Yes. So this, um, I was going to touch on a couple of different things here. They've changed the LED lighting on the back. So brighter lights easier for people who are following you to be able to see. Mm -hmm. um, you do have the access ladder on the back so you can climb up to do the maintenance on right. the roof as well. Um, again, they recommend at least twice a year going mm -hmm. up on the roof. Um, anytime before you run your slide outs in, check the top of your slide, make sure you don't have any debris on there. Um, don't want to damage your slide seals. Right. Um, bike rack. So this is really cool. We've seen them start doing this in a lot of the units. Um, so you just pull the pin out, that flops down, mm -hmm. load your bicycles on there, 225 pound weight limit on And bumper. you're not hurting your bumper, you Correct. know, because like they say those those ones you fasten on and they eventually break right. your bumper off, so exactly. this is a good solution Yeah, this is actually already um, welded in and, and already hooked to Very where it cool. needs to be. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep. Uh, 50 amp service and the reason it's a 50 amp service is because it's braced and wired for a second AC mm -hmm. So it comes with one you can add a second AC if you decide you guys want to do that additional storage area back here as well um, So is there two outdoor showers? There is so you have an out outdoor or they call it a utility shower over mm -hmm. here But then you have the one on the other side as well This came in handy on our Puma when we were in Gulf Shores to get all the sure. sand off. Absolutely that We hear fantastic. a lot of people to, to use that as well um Another thing that we see on, on these units, this has actually has the power um, 
stabilizer jacks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I love it. What's this, your uh, vent? That's your vent for your, for your stove. stove. Mm -hmm. um, this unit does have uh, power awning and it is LED lighted underneath as well. Um, and these are adjustable. Uh, if we weren't inside and I could run this right. out a little bit farther, I could show you, but you guys have the same yep. awning on yours, so you're familiar with that. Love our awning. I love, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't sure how we would feel about the outdoor, but the more and more, I like beer when I'm camping. Everybody knows that. And the more and more, I like have the ability to just walk up and grab that. Or, you know, you and I were talking about this, Sarah, throw chicken or whatever on this, you're not stinking up the whole camper. Exactly. You're cooking out here. Yep. And we hear a lot of people, especially folks that like to go um, fishing, mm -hmm. they want to cook fish, they do it outside so they don't have that smell inside. Even breakfast items. You think about all the grease and bacon and sausage when mm -hmm. you're cooking that, bring it outside. You know, have the smell in your Absolutely. camper. It's a lot easier to clean up out Lots here as well. Lots of space. This one doesn't come with the sink. Correct. No sink in this particular floor plan. Um, but it does have the grill and... You have a shower right over there. Exactly. I really like this one. Plug in outside as well. You could possibly mount one of those TV things over here. I mean, you'd have to take the TV off. Sure. You couldn't keep it, but you could mount one of those TV things that you could pull well, out here too. Before you get too carried away, you don't have to do that. It's actually um, already prepped what? for it up here in your pass-through storage. You have a plug-in. Um, and your satellite or cable hookup out here. So you could actually just set a TV out here. It's still underneath your awning. Yeah. So you can sit back and watch it. And then when you're traveling, you just take it inside and secure it either under the bed in the storage or something like that. Behind this door as well is um, another plug-in outside. So a lot of people want to set up like a table and put like mm -hmm. a crock pot or something outside or an um, electric skillet when they're cooking. Mm -hmm. So you have access for that as well. This is a really cool model. All right, I think we're gonna go home for the day. Okay. We've wrapped up, we've seen a lot of campers. Um, be sure to check Nikki out here at Walnut Ridge. They've got an awesome, awesome facility. Uh, I know I was talking to somebody earlier and you guys are rotating them out constantly Correct. inside. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they have a huge outdoor lot. I know it's getting colder out, but you could definitely come in here. We've and got vans around. that are heated, so we'll be glad to take you out in one of the vans. Oh, well, thanks for showing us around. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.